not like I'm gonna headbutt her, but she could definitely <laughs> headbutt like me. Break. What's what's on your hands? What you got going on there? <laughs> You're like, what's the problem? I think I wrote a part about you, and then I like read the script. I said, I don't act like this. <laughs> this is not me. <laughs> 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 What up? I'm Steve from Island. We made a movie together called I Love Christmas Parties. You can watch it for free on Tubi or on our YouTube channel if you're so inclined. And uh, these are the faces of the movie. These are the stars. We're going to talk through some stories from the filmmaking process. You ready for the box? I think it's the B-O-X. box. I think so. B-O-X. That was what this was supposed to originally be called. Did you know that? B-O-X, really? B-O- no, the Christmas box. Yeah, so. the original <laughs> the title was actually version. Christmas box. Wow. Well, Getting into some trivia already. This is what we're going to talk through. Ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> Acting for the first What was time. your experience? This is specifically to those two, right? Yeah. I'm actually right. a professional actor. Yes, you're know. not. Oh, but. okay. <laughs> yes, you're not. Okay, so this, you've definitely acted in stuff before, Bailey. Yeah. But this is your first feature, right? This was the first film. Yeah, never been on live television before. Never been on live television before. <laughs> Elena, have you ever acted in anything on screen? Not on screen. I've been so in like Christmas So you've done Christmas some like stuff on like pageants. stage. Yeah. And then an angel. this is you've done a couple projects with me, Miranda. <laughs> but all right, so you guys, yes. let's go to you two specifically. What like pops out in your mind when you think about that process? Oh man, I would definitely say um, a lot of pressure at times. Why? Ooh. Getting your facials down and not trying to laugh at the other person, like when Miranda's in headbutting um, distance. Not like I'm gonna headbutt her, but she could definitely headbutt <laughs> like, me. Where are you going with this? So um, it's like nerve wracking. Like if I say something wrong, oh man, I'm in trouble. Did you feel like that was a pressure that I put on you, or it was just the pressure? No, honestly, I was just trying not to laugh. Um, so because I would end up laughing. Yeah, Miranda was terrible at that. I still go back and watch that movie, and it uh, drives me insane because she, anytime in those moments where it's supposed to be serious. She always does. I have a smirking problem. You have a serious smirking problem. No, and I look and it back. Drives I see me it nuts. too. It also drives me nuts. But I just. But don't in the know. moment, I'm like, you're smirking, and you're like, no, I'm not. I'm my. I'm doing a straight face, and I'm like, no. Well, I'm looking. I and you're get, not. I can't always feel it. So it's not Elena, a first time actor. What was your first experience? I had a lot of fun, honestly. Actually. Yeah, but then <laughs> once I figured cool. out who I was, and Miranda calls me and she's like, "Hey." I think I wrote a part about you. And then I like read the script. I said, I don't act like this. This is not me. <laughs> so that's so. actually funny. So <laughs> I think this is something that because you and I wrote it together. Yeah. You actually like wrote, I would say, really the first draft. And then I sort of obliterated it and tore it apart. I've noticed that we do this when we are working with, because we primarily work writing and directing features like this with people who have like never acted or have very minimal experience. Right. And so we tend to typecast. It's like, this person's kind of sassy in real life. <laughs> yeah. I bet they could do that on camera because that's their natural persona, mm-hmm. i.e. Elena. No. <laughs> this person's goofy in real life. Uh-huh. Like, I've noticed that like, even the, the parts that I take on and stuff is in some way like exactly how I would act in that situation. Mm-hmm. And that's kind of what makes it work. So was that an insult? <sighs> I was just like, I don't act like this. You and absolutely even, like, do. You're other doing it right that now. Don't like have never seen the film, and I showed them. They're like, Oh my gosh! Like, were you even acting? And I'm like, Guys, like, guys, uh, don't <laughs> act like this. Uh, it's not me. But it is what it is. But I had fun. It was cool. You are absolutely naturally sassy. Yeah. What I think was really cool about you is I think you can see it in all of us. Like when we sh- like we shot this in order, yeah. which I don't think we would normally do. Yeah. Normally, like most productions, and even like large films it's just kind of like whatever makes the most sense budget wise or location wise or the the certain days you can get the, that cast or whatever it sort of dictates the schedule but this was like we kind of locked ourselves in a house for what did we shoot for 30 days six yeah. six weeks something like that yeah not literally locked ourselves in a house it was just we went back and forth to the same location we'll talk about that in another episode but like this was kind of like you can see all of our progression all of our chemistry over the course of the film <laughs> Which isn't ideal. Like I definitely I like look at the at like when I watch it back sometimes I'm like, 
we definitely got better as a mm -hmm. as a group. We got better individually as actors. The writing got better. Mm -hmm. The directing got better. Like all of the cinematography, even like you can see it increase over the course <laughs> yeah. of the film. It's better as it goes. It, which is fine. Like if you're willing to stick around for the first like ten minutes, and if yeah. there's something in it that you like, then I think you'll enjoy the film. Scene one, take one. Oh. That had to have hurt. Oh yeah. <laughs> Back it up. <laughs> but if your ex sister in law comes in here, <laughs> what was the process? If you go back to even like you said, like it was the pressure. Did that alleviate like as it went on? Was it like you got more comfortable, or did you just look more comfortable on camera? Yeah, I would definitely say that uh, it got better as we went. You know, you just learn your character more. I think that was the biggest thing. Was the more um, I got comfortable with my character. You were trying to figure out kind of who... And realizing it was me. <laughs> you were oh, trying to figure out... I can just literally just be me. You're saying when you stopped acting, it just got a lot easier. Correct. You were trying to figure out who Trevor was, and eventually you just looked in yeah, a mirror, and it, it was, was really a lot simpler. Existential. I found out it was me. Did you ever come to that realization, or are we still fighting that? Or? Um, no, I, I don't think I'm sassy. So one of, the, one of the things I specifically remember about the acting process that I think when you have acted in stuff before, you... Uh, it, I, I think naturally about this, but I realized at some point that Elena was not thinking this through <laughs> when she shows up with different nails every single day. Different nails. Different, different hair. Different socks. Different It hair. was like you changed your outfit, you changed your nails, you changed everything about your physical appearance. I think at one point you had a bull nose. What do you call that? Septum piercing. You had big gauges <laughs> no at one. <laughs> okay, yeah, right. Yes, absolutely. So you would, but you would actually would come in, and I'd be like, "What's what's on your hands? What you got going on there?" And you're like, "What's the problem?" And you weren't thinking through. Yeah. So what was the thought process, or was there any? I don't even think there was a thought process. I think, well, during the middle of it, like my grandma passed away. So we were also like heading to Florida to go to the funeral. Right. Yeah, and I was like trying to get prepared for that. And like, you know, like my dad said of the family, like we get all dressed up and all these things. So we were in the process of getting ready for that. And then we went and I got my hair redone. And then I came back and you were like, oh, okay, cool, sweet, <laughs> good job. So that's actually, that's an interesting point. Both of you talk to this. So when you're doing films sort of the hollywood way everyone's full-time job is the film for you guys it wasn't there was normal life you just talked about like losing your grandma in the middle of that like family stuff like work like for you guys like it was like real life intermittent with us shooting eight to ten hours a day as well which we were doing that five six days a week i'd say most weeks so what was the process of that? What was the pressure of that? What was the experience? Uh, praise the Lord that I had a job that they'd let me do from home. If yeah. I didn't, <laughs> yeah. if I or like sometimes that. on yeah. set with us, like yeah. in between takes. I'm yeah. literally yeah. making designs for a kitchen and bath company, like as we're rolling. And I'm like, okay guys, just give me like literally 30 more seconds. I'll be fine. <laughs> and then we could shut off for the rest of the day. So what like, as we, cause we're, I want to actually close this out. Like what was the premier memory of, from this perspective, acting for the first time, your first time, like, doing things for real on screen like what was the what was what do you look back on and you remember from it I think for me just like the community of building with everybody that I was filming with because like even though we're all together all the time anyways like it was just a new atmosphere to like serve the Lord in and different things like that and I thought that was super cool about that. I don't know how I don't know how it gets any better than that the fact that we really did build community are you having fun yet <laughs> you're having so much fun how about this now? is so much fun are you having fun now like I'm having so much fun Christmas mayo wrong. Christmas mayo 21. <laughs> um, and we we can come back and have a bunch of jokes and stuff and things to laugh about. Um, you know, we'll come, we'll see something that uh, reminds us of I love Christmas parties and now we just get stuff to, to joke about, laugh about. Um, and knowing that it was all within a role, um, it wasn't just something that you were doing throughout um, you know, your day to day. It was, I did this through acting and I can remember how fun it was. Um, and it was just a really cool experience for the first time. That's cool. So I think one of my favorite things about filmmaking in general is what you guys are talking about with just like the community that it builds. I think it's just, it's one of those experiences where you're sort of in the trenches together and it's like, you're having these shared difficulties, these shared ups and downs. It's one of the things that like has always drawn me to it. 
So I love that that's what you guys brought out of it. So hopefully it was actually a good experience. Yes, thumbs up. Give us a thumbs up, Elena. <laughs> well, if you're interested, hey, go watch the movie. It's available for free on Tubi as a mini series, or you can watch the full 90 minute uninterrupted movie on our YouTube channel. Links in the description. Thanks so much for watching. We love you. Merry Christmas. I don't know where to say bye to. We'll wave to the wide shot. Bye. <laughs> See ya.